So now we're going to look at using a capacitor as a charge pump in this circuit. This one's the uh, storage capacitor. So first let's look at that. That's charging through uh, two diodes right there. Uh, negative side there. There's a gray band on that side. This is the uh, positive supply. So that's coming to these two uh, diodes, rectifier diodes. And uh, so positive supply, that's anode, cathode. There's a gray band there. And then again, anode, cathode. So it can charge up that way. But if this gets a high voltage, it won't uh, feed back. The diodes will prevent it from pushing current that way. So that one not uh, charges. But it's charging through a couple of diodes. So it's going to fall probably a little bit short of uh, 4 volts. And uh, so that's going to be about what is across the uh, load here. So we got a 1000 ohm resistor, a couple of LEDs. A little current is leaking through. But uh, for the most part, this is off. So what we're going to do is uh, pump more charge into it so its voltage goes up and it has enough voltage to uh, power the loads. So again that's going to be a bit short of twice the supply voltage. So let's look at why. This capacitor is also naturally charging. We got one diode and uh, to the positive supply from uh, positive supply to the positive side of the 1000 microfarad capacitor. Both of them are 1000 microfarad. Then we got the uh, negative side. So you can see that positive go into there negative side to this switch right here so the bottom is always connected that's always connected so it is connected to that resistor other side is to the negative supply right there so we got uh, that current path and that's going to let uh, quite a bit of current through for this circuit and uh, and the power limits of the past so we close the switch that makes a direct connection we got positive supply up there so let's look at what that means this capacitor charges up Gonna be a little bit shy of five volts due to the diode drop. We got the negative side of the power supply there, positive there. So think of a battery or another capacitor. Uh, negative and then positive. We close the switch that goes to this capacitor, negative. So we got positive to negative and then positive over there, which is ultimately headed towards that negative. So that's two power sources in series. Their voltages add up, and so they're gonna give a higher voltage to uh, that capacitor. It's going to charge. And uh, once its voltage reaches the same voltage as the two, then uh, current's going to stop uh, flowing. And so it's not going to rise up as high as it can the first uh, pump, but you release the switch. That one will charge a little bit more. You close it, and again, their voltages add up, and they'll push more charge in there until it has the same uh, voltage as those two, basically when they're fully charged. But it is losing some current, so that's not completely true through uh, the load. That's why ultimately, we have to keep hitting the button over and over again to get the LEDs to stay uh, bright right there. So you wouldn't normally use a mechanical switch because as you can see, we're gonna have to hit it uh, thousands of times an hour, not to mention, I don't wanna stand here all day uh, doing this. You would use a digital circuitry to ultimately switch it uh, directly to the positive supply. Or you could use uh, digital circuitry to go directly from positive supply to negative supply if you don't go too fast for the value uh, capacitor you're using and uh, the heat that would be produced through the diode. But in uh, any case, you could go directly supply to supply, but since we're doing a push button version of this, it's easier just to have a resistor going to uh, ground. And then when we close the switch, that'll be a direct connection to the positive supply. The resistor will prevent a direct connection to ground. That would be a short circuit of the power supply. You don't want. So that's mostly what the resistor is for let a fair amount of current go through but prevent a short circuit when uh, this switch is closed. So in any case that's about all there is uh, to this circuit so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the link down below they all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.